Hi guys, uh, today we're going to be looking at linkages. Linkages are mechanical devices that convert motion, so you could have a linkage that pushes in one direction and it reverses to the opposite direction. You could have a linkage that moves in a linear direction horizontally and then moves it to vertically. Uh, we're going to look at these and make another learning map and I'm going to demonstrate some slightly larger examples of what these are. Uh, so uh, let's go. Cheers. So I'm going to be working with uh, just some card and some split pins. Uh, some of you have shown me some of your photos of things where you've been very imaginative in how to use stuff other than split pins. Um, but if you can get some, they are really useful. But we won't really need them after today's lesson. So if you can improvise again with some drawing pins or similar, then that's brilliant. So I'm going to start off just going to use a craft knife and a ruler. I'm going to mark out my sections. Uh, lots of strips of card is all I need to start off with this and uh, then going to construct a little learning map to revise what linkages are and what their names are. So the first one we're looking at is called a reverse motion linkage uh, and it will do what it says, so it will reverse a motion when you input it into one of the linkages. You need three strips of card and you need to make uh, a hole in the end of two and three holes in the other. So for this I'm using a braddle or you can use a sharp pencil and push into a piece of blue tack or, or a cutting board. The third hole needs to be in the centre, so we're going to measure that out. And then with our split pins we're going to attach two through the end and then the middle one is going to go through our base piece uh, of card. Make sure those pins aren't too tight, or it's not going to work. Okay, now I'm gonna do my parallel motion linkage. Uh, this time I need holes marked out as so, and then I'll repeat the same process as before. So I need holes in the two ends there, the two ends there, and then the center of these. These are going to be loose, so they're going to be attached to each other, and then these two are going to go through our base piece of card, as I did before. So you can see, so far I've got my reverse motion linkage, and my parallel linkage. Now we're going to move on to making a, a crank and slider, and a bell crank, on a separate sheet, because I've gone a bit big with these ones. So for the crank and slider, you can see here that I've got a, a sort of loose pivot there that's just the two pieces attached, a fixed pivot here uh, that's gone through the backing card. I now need to have a slot that runs across here so that it can slide across rather than moving uh, completely freely so it's constrained to that line. So I'm just going to make sure that it runs parallel with this one. And then my split pin is going to go through there and then through the slot. Need to make my slot slightly wider. 
because it's just getting stuck. So as well as your series of strips, you will also need to draw um, what's called a bell crank. Now a bell crank is like the quarter of a circle. So if you just draw around something uh, cylindrical, like a tape, like that. And it's just that shape that we need there. And then we can start assembling them. Okay, so finally for my bell crank, I need to pierce through here, that's going to be my fixed pivot that goes through the card, and then these two are going to be attached to those there. And this one is called the bell crank. As I've said before, if you don't have split pins, you can use drawing pins and push in something a little bit thicker or you can do illustrations that demonstrate the process. A really good website to look at is technologystudent.com just search linkages and technology student and you will get nice clear information on this with illustrations. Okay then that one's going to go through there. So uh, that was some information about linkages. Um, you can make, as a minimum, the uh, learning mats or some illustrations, or you could try to do some animations yourself using Flash or a similar program. Um, here I've made a slightly more advanced uh, example that I'll use in school called a four bar linkage. So it starts with a rotary action, and you can see it's got these two linkages to make this very satisfying movement. And I've applied that to a little wooden automata toy using a little boat. So there is a little bit of information on how to make that in the video, but if you want to use any of the skills you've learnt to make a little toy, then that would be a really nice extension task that you could work on. Cheers!